and welcome to the first part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cottage Living. I'm so excited for this pack. This pack probably is the one I've been most excited to explore. Probably since Seasons came out a few years ago, I've been wanting a farming pack for so long, so I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I've actually been playing for the past two days to set up a family for us to play with and a little bit of a storyline, and to also get to know the pack enough that I can show it to you guys. Before we get into it, I just wanna introduce myself for anyone who's new here. My name's Deli. I like playing Sims. I'm from Australia. That's really all you probably need to know. Welcome. I can't wait to read your comments as well. So make sure to comment down below any uh, questions or anything you're excited about. Also, just so you know, this is a beta version of Cottage Living. So if there's any weird bugs or glitches, it likely won't be in the final edition of this game when it ships. So thank you to the Sims 4 team uh, for granting me an early access copy of this to review. Let's jump into it. So this is a new world. This is Henford on Bagley. I'm gonna call it Bagley either. I don't know. I feel like it reminds me of badges, so I'm gonna go with that and see me as though this is a farming pack. It makes sense to me. But anyway, this is a beautiful new world. It looks so pretty. We're gonna definitely explore all of these different neighborhoods. I think what makes this world unique is that it's very lush. It has a really strong, like, British feel about it. I'm also impressed of the lots and their placements. It feels very vast, especially this lot up here that's at the top of the waterfall. I'm so excited that's actually playable, so maybe at some point we'll move there. We'll see how we go. But just to explain quickly, this is Finchwick. So this is where we're gonna start our storyline. And this is where the city center is, or the town center. This definitely isn't a city. <laughs> so there's lots of fun characters here, such as Mrs. Crumplebottom, who, if you've played earlier Sims games, we know and love her. She's like a cranky old lady with a handbag that she like slaps Sims with. Then there's Old New Hanford, and this is essentially like the farmland. So you'll find your bigger lots here. And then right at the back is the Bramblewood. And this is where we're gonna go maybe for a picnic. There's the waterfall. There's some ruins there to explore, foxes, birds. It looks really pretty. So let's go to our house. Uh, this is the family we're gonna start our storyline with. These are the gardeners. Ha <laughs> ha, gardening, got it. Oh God, why am I so awkward? So let me introduce them. So the first thing we have here is Papa Gardner and Papa did have a wife and she literally passed away right before I started filming, which is a really interesting time to start this story because the old generation is passing on and the new generation, which is Papa's grand grandkids, they're going to be taking over the farm and learning the farming lifestyle as us, the players, learn how to farm in The Sims 4 as well. So Papa and uh, Grandma Gardner, who just passed away, they were teaching their grandkids about how to live this farm life. They'll, they were introducing them to some of the other Sims and um, they've inherited some of their aspirations as well. So this is Huck. Huck Gardner, he's just aged up to a young adult. Oh wait, no, he will be aging up shortly to a young adult. Um, perfect timing to take over the farm. And he has the new aspiration of a country caretaker. These Sims tend to the countryside and befriend all the animals and critters. It also is helpful that he's an animal enthusiast, which is a new trait. These Sims are obsessed with animals and they will seek their company often. They have an easier time caring for animals and getting closer to them, which is really, really handy in this pack because if you treat the animals well there and if you befriend them, the animals are going to go to extra lengths to make your time working on the farm a little easier. So we'll explore that a bit more. We also have the collector bonus up here, uh, which means we're more likely to find rare collectibles while out and exploring. Huck is also a perfectionist. His grandpa's a good painter, so he's gonna take on after his grandpa. So it's no surprise he enjoys painting and gardening. Then this is Huck's sister, Meadow Gardner, and Meadow shares the same aspiration. She loves the outdoors and loves animals as well. And she's going to enjoy fishing and gardening too. So now that you guys know The Sims, let me show off their little house. And I think we're gonna quickly outgrow this house because it is very small. And Papa Gardner and Grandma Gardner, they always dream dreamed of being on a big farm, having lots of crops and, you know, living that big farm life. But they never really made it out of the town center. They've had this beautiful little garden that they've been nurturing over all these years, but it's really gonna be the grand 
kids who carry out their dreams of making it a bigger farm. So this home I just renovated. It was already in the game, but I changed it up a little bit. And it's so sad because Papa Gardener just did a sad painting and it's literally like a wilting flower. At least that's what I see. So he's really struggling with the fact that he's just lost his spouse and he's looking pretty upset about it. And then over here, these are the crops that Papa and Grandma Gardener have and the kids are gonna have to help them maintain these. Um, Papa Gardener can't maintain this garden by himself. Grandma Gardener was the one who did most of the gardening while he painted. And they made a good amount of money, but they definitely didn't have a whole lot of money to expand. They have these chooks over here. Papa Gardener's got a pretty high relationship with these chickens who also help to keep critters away from the crops. And uh, this is Grandma Gardener's grave. And she, right before she died, she left a rose. So we've just planted the rose in front of this. So yeah, the chickens, you can hover over them and see how they're feeling. I mean, they, they're pretty happy. I think it's this white chicken. Yeah, Tartan is Papa's favorite chicken or hen. And unfortunately, his other good hen friends, um, a couple of them got taken out by foxes. So yeah, the other relationships aren't as strong, but he was really good friends with the other hens. If we go into our little house, there's lots of new items that came with this pack. I love this country kitchen and there's lots of paintings around the house that Papa Gardener has done over the time. The new picnic basket, we can go on picnics. And this is Grandma Gardener. There's lots of family pictures. Grandma Gardner uh, loved doing, what's this called again? Crochet or whatever it is. Uh, and then there's pictures of the family having good times together as well. This is a ribbon that Grandma Gardner won as a participant in uh, an egg competition at the local fair. So hopefully we can actually get a winning ribbon because she really wanted to win. <laughs> this is the room the grandkids have been staying in. And actually, Widow already has a good friend that we met in the world. This is one of the new Sims that are in the world. But I love these wallpapers and it's just, it's just such a nice, like wholesome pack, I feel. And then this is Papa and Grandma's room. So they have pictures together. Grandma Gardner was like super outgoing and a real go-getter, always in the garden every morning. So it's pretty sad for Papa Gardner not to have his soulmate and best friend around anymore. And even though it might sound a little bit lame, I, well, it's not lame at all, but a bit, a bit of a party pooper. I lost my grandpa last year. And when I was playing this and Grandma Gardner passed away. For the first time while playing The Sims, I actually felt like so much more sadness because I've actually been through that in real life. And it was just this really interesting moment of being like, oh wow, I um, I actually know what that's like now. Anyway, it's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> and then this is the bathroom. And let me tell you, four Sims in one bathroom is hard. Three Sims in one bathroom is hard as well. And everything keeps breaking. So Huck, because he is uh, a little more younger and nimble than Grandpa Gardner. He can repair that. We also have some errands that I've picked up for us to do as well, which I'll show you how to get those. But probably the last thing I wanted to show you guys before we really get into the storyline and gameplay is that we have a new traits and challenges panel over here, which has this like trophy. These are lot challenges. And what lot challenges do is give your lot special challenges that you have to overcome or solve. So for example, I just clicked on wild foxes. So this means wild foxes will appear on this lot being a nuisance to your garden, chickens and rabbits. I'm gonna take that off because we are in the town, but maybe if we move at some stage, we'll switch that back on. My favorite challenge is simple living. This lot requires ingredients to cook all recipes. Cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better. So this is what came with cottage living. Basically it means that when we go to the fridge, we have to stock the fridge in order to cook recipes. Like the fridge isn't just gonna automatically have food in there. So we need to go to the market or we need to grow things. We can also create animal treats to feed the animals and make friends with them. And we can also cook together. So maybe we'll do a little bit of cooking with Huck and we can cook. Mm, I mean, a lot of these things, we don't have all the ingredients as you can see here. We can cook some of these. And lactose intolerant is also another trait, which is crazy because I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, it's almost Huck's birthday. So hopefully we'll have enough ingredients to 
make a cake as well. The calendar has been updated as well, so we can actually see when the fairs are on. So this garden fair is actually going to be on Meadow's birthday. I hope Papa makes it to Meadow's birthday. And it looks like the competitions, which change a little bit, there's going to be a pie competition and a garden competition. So we'll see if we have any plants we can submit as well. So Papa's going to resume this sad painting while wow, these two cook. And I love that Sims can now cook together. So I guess they're gonna, you know, ask for advice. You know, since grandma's passed away, they can complain about the problems. Like we have all of this stuff to take care of now. Like maybe we should head back to the city. And then Meadow is probably like, well, we can't leave Papa here by himself. He can't run, run this house by himself. He needs our help. So Huck's like, yeah. Okay, I don't even want to go back to the, to the city anyway. These two don't get along with their parents. Ooh, and we have the option to become best friends forever. Oh, and Meadow's already at cooking level four, which is pretty awesome. The other thing is we can uh, do some canning. So we have some apple and sugar, so we can make like apple jam, tomato sauce, a meat substitute, handy, mayonnaise. Chocolate syrup. So one of those recipes actually required uh, chocolate syrup. Oh, actually, so if we want to make a cake, we actually need to have egg, sugar, and flour, which we do have now. But if we want to make a chocolate cake, we can make chocolate syrup in order to get the chocolate flavor. So maybe we should do that. <gasps> and pie, we need to make some blueberry jam. And then we can enter the pie competition. Ooh, or raspberry pie. Okay, how's Papa doing? Oh, Papa's so good. He's he's in the bathroom cleaning up the water and it looks like we've um, finished this painting. So that's a very special painting, I feel, because this is a painting of grief. So I'm gonna put that up there. I don't know if he would wanna put it on the wall though. We'll just kind of put it to the side. So maybe these two can try and cheer up their grandpa, give him a compliment, express the um, admiration for him, not complain about parents. <laughs> Bright in his day. I mean, isn't this so nice? We've got our special meal we've cooked, we've got our photographs. And also, in terms of school, these two are just gonna focus on supporting their papa. Um, school is really definitely not a focus for Huck. And you know what? I might actually get rid of these errands and we can get, um, I mean, errands. I always pronounce it errands. How embarrassing is that? We'll go get some more later on. So he's a high school D student and uh, his sister's a C student. They're not really the most academic family. <gasps> no! Are you serious? Oh no, I really wanted him to make it to their birthday. I mean, usually when we start a new LP, we don't have a death in the very first part. Oh, Papa. I mean, I think he didn't really want to be around without grandma. So he's gone to meet her and he feels as though the kids are going to be okay and ready to look after the farm themselves. Oh, I mean, Meadows? Like, what? Oh, it really took a moment for, for that to hit her, that her grandpa's gone. This is so sad, you guys. I wonder if we can bury them in the graveyard that we saw on the map. Oh, what a horrible way to start this uh, this gameplay. But also, we can only go up from here. Oh, and great, the sink is broken. Grandpa was so sweet as well. And now they're teenagers living in this house by themselves. So that's kind of unusual too. Oh man, wait a um, matter. This is not a time to be taking selfies. <laughs> Gosh. Oh dear. Well, maybe we'll get Huck to repair this. And they really are on their own now. So I say we take a couple of days off school to recover from this. And uh, we'll, we'll see if we can take these tombstones to the graveyard tomorrow. But we do have a rose here. And I think... I have a couple of more roses that I found, or that Huck found, that we can also plant. So we'll plant uh, another rose bush in honor of um, Papa too. And maybe we can plant the rest of the farm from these roses as well. 
Man, that is so sad, you guys. I'm sorry that it started this way. They really didn't last for very long. I swear the elders don't live as long as they used to. Oh, and it looks like Meta has already gone to sleep. Well, first up, I think it's important we start saving some bills. So let's put on uh, auto lights for all the lights. And I'm definitely gonna get these guys to take a vacation day from school because that's pretty understandable when they've lost a family member. Oh my gosh, it is the morning and these chickens are dirty. That's horrible. We have we have dirty chickens. So they are definitely feeling, oh, and they're itchy as well. They're definitely feeling the effects of Papa passing away. Oh dear. Well, I'll let the kids just sleep in a little bit longer and then they've got to get into gardening, I think. There's nothing like staying busy to help you with grief. I think there's a balance between, you know, doing what you need to do for your body and getting that rest, but also being able to focus on a few other things as well. Um, so I'm gonna get Huck to have something to eat, then get straight into cleaning this, collect some dirty eggs potentially. And I don't know, did these chickens clean themselves? I guess. Okay, so Huck's um, really dragging his feet cleaning this up, but he did find, um, I think some fertilizer? Oh, wait, that's Meadow. Oh good, so we found some Vitality Fertilizer. Okay, and now that Pop is gone, we don't have a good relationship with these chickens, so they're not gonna do any of our weeding or anything for us. Oh, and it looks like we collected a green egg. So let's open up this notebook and see some information about it. It pairs well with ham. Well, who could have seen that coming? Make by feeding a hen a veggie treat, animal treat. Oh, okay. And it's used to complete certain errands for the grocery owner and grocery delivery villages that live in Henford on Badgley. And then an orange egg, if you feed chickens hens, sorry, a pumpkin treat, they will lay orange eggs. They used to complete certain errands. Okay, so they're both pretty common, but we also have a gardening panel as well, so we can learn things about carrots, we can learn things about fish, and we can also learn like what bait we need, etc. cetera. Huck's at level three gardening, which is really good. Oh my gosh, come on Meadow, you gotta, you gotta face the sun. You gotta do a little bit of work here as well. We gotta keep this, this place going. And we'll harvest the crops as well. Luckily we have a little bit of money left from Grandma and Papa Gardener. So these guys will be able to pay the next rent. And then we got some more information here. Oversized mushroom. Mushrooms can be tanned and, and turned into mushroom conserves, an ingredient used in the preparation of certain recipes. Okay, and then our pumpkins, I think are the same. Well, now that the garden is mostly taken care of, we might put, let's put some fertilizer on these eggplants and we'll harvest these carrots as well. Let's get these two to wander maybe in, or look for the graveyard. I'm just gonna fill this picnic basket with a few things. And I believe we will have a few things left in the inventory maybe. Oh, no, Papa's inventory was cleared. Okay, <laughs> that's a bummer. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this into Huck's inventory and then we'll be able to go to the graveyard. Now, if we go to the map, where was the graveyard? I don't even know if this is a place we can go to, but I guess we can bury them some, well, spread their ashes somewhere else. So it should be just up from our house if we can get there. Okay, look how beautiful this village is, you guys. It's so pretty. I love it. Oh, it's so nice. So if we go up the street here, oh, we can't get to the graveyard. No, I thought we might be able to. Well, maybe we should go um, see if we can put them to rest maybe over here somewhere in the national park. So we'll get the two of them to go there. And we'll see if we can put their tombstone, tombstone somewhere in the forest. Yay, okay. Well, let's, um, because these two are, you know, having a tough time, maybe through death, these two are becoming closer than ever, brother and sister. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a rabbit, you guys. Look, I haven't seen a rabbit yet. Oh, and there's ducks over here. Guys, look at this little rabbit, so cute. <gasps> Can we gift 
Let's see if we can call over the wild rabbit. Can we call it over? Here, little rabbit rabbit. Is it gonna come to us? No, I didn't think so. We can socialize with it. How's it going? And uh, we'll see if we can pet the rabbit as well. Oh, and I didn't even realize, but we just completed the first level of the aspiration too. So next up, we need to befriend a chicken cow or llama, place a wild rabbit home or flock of wild birds on our home lot and fertilize some oversized crops. Oh my gosh, so cute. Chat about the freezer bunny, yes. Let's maybe mm, gift the rabbit something. We could gift it a book. Can we gift it our homework? <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. Oh, and keeping in mind, these two get along with animals quite well, so. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, she gave it the. Oh, it didn't like the book? Oh my gosh, Huck is like, why would you give a rabbit a book? Give it something at once, like a. Oh, we don't have anything else we can gift it. Can we gift it a, uh, a carrot? Oh, little rabbit, we don't really have any other gifts we can give you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, these two are pretty hungry, so maybe let's get out this little picnic basket. Oh, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, they're gonna have a barbecue as well. Okay, let's let's put this little basket here and set up our picnic. I'm gonna put this over here. Oh, we're gonna sit on separate tables. Where'd she even make? She made pinches. Okay, look at this. We're having a little picnic. Grab a serving. So it's a bit of a sad picnic, you know, it's a bit morbid, but you know, this is the place where Papa and Grandma probably got married. This is the, the place they love to be. So it's nice to have a picnic to celebrate their life. And I feel like Hawk is telling his sister, you know what? I think we can do this. I think, you know, I'm about to finish school. You're about to finish school as well. Let's, we're aging up. Let's take over this farm and try and do what Papa and Grandma wanted to do with their life. Let's try and, you know, start a farm, make some money, maybe get a bigger block of land. That's what they would have wanted. He's like, I don't know if we could do it. We don't really have the knowledge. And he's like, well, we can learn better. We got this. This picnic is uh, like, honestly, so cute. Okay, I think that's enough food for now. Okay guys, let's bury. I mean, I feel like it sounds like we're burying bodies. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. Wow. That's the, that's the lot over here that you can actually live in. And this is really cool. This is like a little bit of a throwback to um, EA at EA in America, they actually have this labyrinth and um, they have a snail in the middle. And you can search the snail and take a picture with the snail. So we'll come back to that. But first of all, I think it's important that we find a nice a nice place to try and put the tombstones. Look at this lot. <gasps> so picturesque. Oh my gosh, this place is massive. I'm thinking maybe near the ruins. So, Ooh, maybe this is where like grandpa and grandma Gardner got married under this. So maybe we can like put their tombstone somewhere over here. I don't know if this will even work, but we can try. We're just gonna turn this into our own little family graveyard. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. It's actually a really long way for them to walk. It's like literally taking them an hour to walk here. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, there's like even a thing under the tree. That's cool. Oh, and look at all of these. They're like glistening. That's so pretty. Where is Huck? He's here. Oh dear, he's also busting. That's a little awkward. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can place him weld. Okay, placing that. All right, and then if we go here, they might be a little uneven where, where we're placing them, but I think, you know, it kind of works. It kind of works. And then maybe we can place some world. Do you think we could plant a rose here as well? All right, and we'll plant this. Oh, we can't plant that. No! Well, we can just put the roses here. I mean, they are a little uneven, but it, it's kind of nice that they are uneven. So we'll lay the two roses there. Aww. I think Meadow definitely needs a hug. It's like, it's gonna be okay, we got this. We're gonna make this the best farm ever. Ooh, wild nightly mushrooms. 
Oh, okay, we better go home because these two are gonna pee their pants. Also, there could be some really good harvestables around here. I feel like we need to come back in the daytime and find like things we can use to plant. Oh, who's this person? <gasps> What's this? Raspberry. Mm, there are harvestables on there. I think Papa and Grandma. Oh my gosh, look at these fairy lights. Already had harvestables planted for raspberries and blueberries. Oh my gosh, and also I forgot to engrave these. So for Papa, I feel like we should say, Papa to the meadow, hawks, and all creatures. Big and small. Rest in peace. And then for grandma, nurture to all plants and living things. Rest in peace, Gran. Gardena. There we go. Beautiful. Oh no, I did a spelling error. <laughs> Let me just fix this error. Papa to meadow, hucks and all creatures big and small, rest in peace, nurture to all plants and living things. Another error, <laughs> rest in peace. See, it always pays to spell check these things, especially on a tombstone. This is so pretty at nighttime though. I'm gonna say they definitely got married here. Uh-oh, oh no, he peed himself. Oh, that's the only problem. There's no toilets here. We'll have to remember that for next time. Ooh, we have some beautiful pumpkins here. We have some treats. Do we have anything else in the fridge that we can use? We've only really got flour, sugar. Put these eggs in here. I think we're gonna have to go to the market tomorrow and buy some berries. So then we can make Huck's his, or oh, Huck his birthday cake. Because his birthday's today, so okay, we'll go in the morning. Oh, and we can harvest all of these, uh, all of these crops and plant new ones, which is really exciting too. And if we sell our things at the market, like our crops, they will usually sell for more. I think it depends on the day. Okay, Huck's taking a vacation day. Hey, why is she? Why is she at school? We're leaving school. <laughs> Why is he at school now? He literally just took a vacation day. <laughs> These two, you know, they don't have time for school now. My principal called to say that my school performance is pretty shaky. If I'm not careful, I could drop a grade. Well, look, the principal should give them a little bit of empathy, okay? They just lost someone really important to them. All right. Oh, and Meadow's cooking pancakes for Huck's birthday. That's so sweet. So we can actually invite him to join cooking, which is nice. So he can help out. Oh, and she reached level five. Nice. Well, ha oh, she only made it for herself. What matter? She's like, fine. If you're not going to help me cook, then you don't get any. That was savage. So he's going to go cry in bed. Oh my gosh. So the morning will only last for three more hours. So hopefully some of this birthday can be enjoyed. And look, we have roses already. That's Gran's gift to them. <gasps> That's so nice. Yeah, harvest those. And the thing about roses is roses can be worth a lot of money. I might even plant the roses in these new patches. So they might be able to afford a farm sooner than we think. Huck's gonna plant these. Look at the little chicken helping, so cute. Oh, Tartan was Papa's favorite chook. And he's like helping. Oh, Hawk, you got a pat. Oh, maybe we can give you a treat. Oh, he doesn't like the treats? Tartan. Tartan's probably feeling sad too. Is he laying an egg like on top of our, um, our rose bush? We gotta clean the coop as well. Collect those eggs and go to the market. Oh, look who it is. We got some Sims here. So this is Rami, who's a young adult. I mean, if we had time, we'd introduce ourselves. And this Sim, Shay, introduce ourselves to Shay. Maybe they've come to pay their respects. Maybe they knew Papa and Grandma Gardner. 
Uh, nice to meet you, Shay. He's like, I'm starving. Do you want some food? He's like, I'm really, I'm really sorry to hear about your grandparents. We moved here a few months ago from the city and they were so nice to us and helped us set up our farm. Taught us all the knowledge we needed to know. Well, thank you. Maybe Rami's like, do you want to come to the market with me? I can show you where to go. All right. We are a little bit unhygienic at this stage, but oh well. Let's head to the market area. Actually, we don't even need to travel because it's within our town. How good. Um, it would be really good for us to buy a shower as well. So just over here is the market. As you can see, it's all open. Oh, look at these little birdies. So cute. So we can go over to Kim Goldbloom. So if we want to sell items, we'll see how much we can sell them for, but we can also buy items. So we need to do both of those things. How pretty is this? Now you can also do a bit of window shopping, which I wish we could actually do shopping shopping, but you can like plan outfits and change outfits, which is nice. But I would love to buy like bakery goods. And then over here, this is Miss Crumplebottom's store. Uh, maybe we can try and calm her down a little bit. Have a Henford heart to heart. And we can actually offer help with errands too. Okay, so to sell items. Mm, I don't know. Usually, I don't know how much we can actually get off selling our items for. Well, let's, we need to make some pie. So maybe I'll get a blackberry... There's actually not that much in stock, so I'll get a few things. We'll get some cheese, choco berry would be good. Is there any sugar? Ooh, milk bread, might grab one of those. Ooh, raspberry, might grab one of those. Sugar, we need sugar for the birthday cake. Was that all? And flour, I think we had flour. Oh, and it looks like, oh no, we do have flour here. Okay, so that's 132 simoleons. If we haggle, can we sell for more, do you think? What, like, how much can I sell my items for? I'm already losing money at these prices. I swear we were able to sell for like, oh, that just closed. What? Why is this closed? You're meant to be open. Well, why don't we see, like in our inventory, if we wanted to sell like an aubergine, it, we would get 34 simoleons. What's the difference if we sell it here? Here we can only really make a dollar more. Hmm. Well, let's maybe just sell a few things for a bit more money and hold on to a few things as well. We can definitely afford to sell a lot of carrots, that's for sure. So at least that definitely pays for our groceries. Now, if we have a heart to heart, we can offer to help with some errands. Okay, so for Mrs. Crumplebottom, what can we help with? So we can choose up to three errands. What's this? Who are you? What do you want from me? Oh, you want help? Well, we'll see about that. I've been meaning to get a pumpkin and that's pubs and that pubs being a hotspot of dis disgustingly flirty sims. Show me, you know, the first thing about growing things and berating folks and maybe I'll have more for you to do. Ah, oh, and I could use a drink. Now, if we do this, we get a special fertilizer that increases the speed of plant growth and a cross stitch pattern. Or how's that garden of yours going? You do have a garden, right? Of course we do. I'm always on the lookout for some new plants. So it's settled then, you're going to help me. Why don't we do both of these for Mrs. Crumplebottom? I feel like it's good to be on her good side. And then for this lady, she wants some fresh ingredients, some introductions maybe, and a simple request. Ooh, upgrade pot for an animal shed is a reward. A chance at new treat recipes. Hmm, I like the idea of this one. Oh, and I just saw we get paid as well, which is good. Well, maybe we'll select like two at a time. So for tasks, that'll be under job panel. So we need to collect four grocery orders around the village, deliver a single serving of food to the grocery owner and deliver a rose to the creature keeper. Okay, oh, two bundles of beige wool. We don't have beige wool. Maybe we'll get rid of that one. Scold a grocery owner? Oh my gosh. So we have to be mean to people? Okay, maybe let's go home and enjoy the birthday before we start scolding our neighbors. Okay, let's make, was it raspberry jam we needed for a pie potentially? Ooh, chocolate pie, berry scones, yum, pumpkin scones, chocolate scones. Actually, let's do the cake first. So let's cook a chocolate cake. 
Now we can make chocolate syrup to make the cake, which I think would be nice if we just went the extra mile. So let's do some canning and let's make chocolate syrup from our choco berry. Ooh, he's having some milk bread, nice. Mm, the only problem is we're a little unhygienic right now. <laughs> Selfie, we made our, our chocolate syrup. Okay, and now let's cook our chocolate cake. Oh wait, no, 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 not you. Okay, chocolate cake time. Mmm, scrumptious. It's like, that's so nice of you to make me a birthday cake, but maybe you have a shower so you don't like stink out the house. Oh, friend. All right, let's in, invite uh, our friend. What's her name? Rashida in. Hey, Rashida. So Rashida is like a really good friend of Meadows at this point. <laughs> Like, I don't even know how they became friends so quickly, but they're super close. Yay, birthday time. Look at that. Where are you carrying that to? Okay, I just, I need to get her to have a quick bath before we do the happy birthday. But it's nice that we have a, a friend here to celebrate. Would it be weird if we invited our new friend over? Shay? Probably a bit weird. All right, it's time. Let's blow out your candles. Oh, he's doing push-ups. He's like, right, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to grow up now. Yay! Happy birthday! Woo! Yay! Huck has aged up. That's so exciting. And we need to add one more trait, which I think should be creative because he's gonna get into painting. Yay! Girl, hug. Woo! <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this first uh, part right here. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me think what you want to happen in this Let's Play. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag, dag. Bye.